What sometimes happens in a toxic relationship when you break up is that your ex might start leaking your once, you know, secure messages. Like imagine you're, you know, sending her some nice messages and you think they're secure and then she breaks up with you and then starts leaking them. That's effectively what a memory leak is and they're insanely dangerous but also somewhat common. Now memory leaks occur when a game is just coded in a very stupid way and they're insanely dangerous because they can either slow your game or just crash it entirely. And the reason I feel like these are fairly common is well, number one, obviously, you know, a lot of people aren't the best scripters, but, but number two is also that the term memory leak, while it actually does come up often, I mean, that could be just because I watch, you know, that type of content. But for most people, they actually just don't know what a memory leak is and therefore have no way of actually defending themselves against one. So let me actually show you a case in which a memory leak is likely to happen. What I'll do is I'll make a script inside of server script service, you know, as you do. It's a local function and we're going to call it spawn parts. Simply put, so instance.new part. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the new parts uh, dot position equal to, and I, I'm thinking we can like position it above the spawn location. So we can set the position to be workspace dot spawn location dot position, but I don't want it to be like exactly at the spawn location. So we can just increase it by like 10 Y studs, right? Meaning it's going to be 10 studs above the spawn location. And then we need to actually put the part inside of the workspace so that we can see it. And because I'm planning to actually start like cloning a lot of these parts and I, you know, I don't want them to like start clogging up the workspace. I'm just going to make a folder called spawned parts, which this is a very good practice. In case your game ever like starts dealing with like either cloning stuff or you know making stuff and putting it inside the workspace, I always recommend putting it inside of some folder. Workspace dot spawned parts. And then what I'm thinking is that um, after let's say three seconds, okay, we're going to say uh, new part destroy. And so now what I want to do is I want to start spawning these parts just as fast as the game allows me to do so. For which we're going to use something called run service, and we're going to say heartbeat. Okay, so heartbeat connect function blah blah blah. So basically, this will just run any code that's inside of here whenever the game uh, updates, right? So every time the game updates, it's going to spawn a part, like so. As you can see, it starts to spawn a lot of these parts, as it's supposed to, right? But as you can see, after three seconds, as we said, it destroys these parts. So the, the amount of parts inside of this folder is actually remaining consistent. And I can actually show you this in action right now. We can say um, workspace dot spawned parts uh, get children. And so this will return a table of all of the things inside of this folder, right? And if you want to get the number of items inside of a table, you just put a hashtag in front of it, right? So in short, we're just basically printing the uh, number of items inside of this workspace spawned part get children. It's basically very, around the same number right one 140 150 130 right as you can see the number actually is fairly consistent like sure it's changing up a little bit right but the point is is that it's not going too high nor is it going too low it's staying at the exact like number that we would expect this is where a memory leak is likely to occur because right now we're actually doing everything right like sure you know we're actually adding a ton of stuff to our game but we're making sure that all of this memory once used gets deleted obviously you know we're not using these parts for anything but you know for example let's say your game had like some particle effects right and it was like spawning particles imagine how much your game would lag if you just never bothered to delete those particles you know what i I mean, like imagine if every time like a character like spawned in or something you like added them particles but then whenever they reset you didn't delete their old particles but you added more until eventually they had too much particles and the game would begin crashing that's what happens when you don't take care of your memory in this case one part just represents memory just like a piece of code right and so right now we're doing the smart thing of actually destroying it so i'm just going to comment this section out right let's say that we just don't destroyed the part or maybe let's say we do destroy the part but like you know something just happens in the code you know we just mess up a bit whatever right well now what's going to happen is that the parts are no longer going to get deleted and you can immediately already start feeling how the game is lagging out will this make for a good thumbnail <laughs> and so because of this memory leak right now instead of being at our you know 150 140 range as we did before now we're up to a thousand because we have all of this excessive memory which not only are we not using, right, so the game doesn't need all of this, but it's also just clogging up game performance, which means that everyone in the server is now feeling this lag. And so if you're more of like a beginner developer, you might be wondering like, oh, but how would I actually prevent this? Because, you know, you don't want your game to actually have this, right? Literally, the only way to prevent it is just to not script it in in the first place, okay? Because how memory leaks work, well, I guess every code error works like this, right? But basically, memory leaks only occur if you mess something up while 
coding. Okay, so you always need to make sure that it was especially when you're creating something, you know, whether you're like cloning something or just spawning something new in general, whenever something new is created, you have to make sure that the number of those things is kept in check. Okay, so here it's like, like sure, right now at this scale, it, you know, I can I very easily just add a destroy because, you know, this isn't even a game. I'm All I'm doing is just, I just have one script that does one thing. But then what if you have a game that has like literally thousands of scripts and just somewhere, you know, in, in like your like 100,000 lines of code, you accidentally forget to destroy some part that you're creating that one tiny little thing it's a tiny little thing right you could have literally perfect code if there's one memory leak however and the player keeps on playing the game eventually it's going to start stacking up and eventually people will feel the lag and then obviously then your game isn't playable i actually played a game called uh, generator incremental recently and i think they fixed this but it's like when you finish the game i literally couldn't even keep playing the game because five minutes in like five minutes after you joined the game it was all lagging out and you couldn't do anything which you know obviously is a sign of a memory leak and it never hurts to actually you know like print stuff out right because with this I'm able to actually know how many items are inside of this spawned parts folder, right? Now, obviously, you know, because of the scale of this game, I can easily just check. But when you have literally thousands of scripts and you have no idea, you know, what's going on, you can just easily just, you know, quickly print this out and then be like, oh, okay, this is this is going over the exceeded amount. And then you can, you know, find what's wrong. And then you can you can finally start like destroying your barrage of parts. And yeah, so if you liked my teaching style, I have a course in the description where I teach not only this, but a lot more. And the course price will be like increasing soon because I'm going to start like adding a lot more like units into it. So if you want to get the course right now, and then obviously all the future units for free, you know, go check that out. Link is in the description. And yeah, bro. So hopefully you enjoyed the analogy in the beginning of the toxic relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny um, and hopefully original because I don't know. I don't think many Roblox script or YouTubers have humor. You know, they're all like soulless. I don't know. It's very sad to see. <laughs> but as always, we're back to basics. Thank you for watching.